Hi, good evening. My name is Corey Thorne, psychic medium, spiritual healer, and empowerment life coach. I am doing the monthly readings, and I just started doing the monthly uh, astrological signs, and tonight I'm doing Virgo. So I'm not an astrologer, so I'm not going to go into all the details of all of the astrology. I just do it. It's all of my work comes through intuitive. It is a, um, sorry, making sure my phone is out. Um, it is all based on what's intuitively coming through me as I, as I tap into each sign. And I, I start to pick up the dates, I start to pick up the timing and what's happening in around the whole universal, the universe and the planets and stuff. Um, and so the work, of course, wasn't, might not resonate with everybody. That doesn't mean that the reading is exactly for you this month because it's, it's a collective. It's, a, it's not an individual reading. It is just a general reading. And I always remember that this work is not to replace any medical, psychological advice from anyone ever. It is meant to be taken in lightheartedly and as a form of uh, entertainment for you and you take what you need from it and the rest you leave behind. Um, I do work as a, I do work as a professional life coach and I do offer private sessions in readings and in life coaching and also in, in healing and I do combine everything together as well. So you can always book a private uh, reading with me and right now the best way to reach me is either through email coreythorne22 at gmail.com, that's C-O-R-R-I-E, T H O R N E 22 at gmail.com or on my Facebook page, send me a private message and I will get back to you within a day or so. And I am booking, um, I am booking just a few days ahead right now because this is now my full time life. So I'm doing the reading for Virgo and I'm starting with the Colette Baron Wade Wisdom of Oracle cards and Always remember that all these decks of cards that I use through any of my readings are not the interpretation of the creator of the cards. Uh, it kind of somebody is, and it's a lot relates to it because it is from the divine. It's it's the divinations of the divine, so it does connect and resonate. But I do my own interpretations. The cards kind of just give me a guide to go through. Um, so what I've been picking up for my Virgos as I was just meditating through. For the month of January 2019, what I'm getting is that there feels like there's a lot of formation happening and Mercury, uh, I think Mercury is your ruling planet. I'm pretty sure that's your ruling planet. And it feels as if there's something about the 14th house and being around in your 14th house right now. And it's just this, um, and of course we have Mars in Aries. And I don't know why an Aries affects the Virgo so much, but it just feels as if what's coming to me right now is that there's such a, a, a relationship type of communication connection between the Aries and the, um, and the Virgo. And it could be that you have Virgo or Aries in your sign and you might not be that, but it just, it just feels like it's that kind of energy. It's like a, a twist. And I see, I see like a twist, like there's some sort of twist happening and some sort of twist happening in your relationships and I feel as if a lot of my Virgos have been kind of inside like kind of trapped in your lives or not out doing what you want to do kind of kind of just like mundane every day-to-day -day life you've been living um, and there's nothing wrong with that boring is sometimes good <laughs> and not that your life is boring I just mean that you haven't been exploring out and Virgos are I feel like Virgos, as much as they like the comfort of home, they're also seem to want to be kind of discovering and learning, but, but with a safety net and within their control, like it just seems like you want things to be in your control, but right now in this energy and with all of the, like, it just feel, I just feel like the, there's several planets that are like coming like this together, like they're forming this formation and they're just like, they're just like pulling together and something is pulling together. And that's what it feels like for me with the relationship <laughs> feels as if something is pulling together. Go with that. Trust it. Sorry about the dogs barking. I do own several of them. Um, kind of trust yourself when you feel like you're being pulled to a person, being pulled to a new location, being pulled to, um, I want to say being pulled into like a social gathering, a social event. And you know, something you don't probably normally go to and you're like, you know what? 
screw it. I'm going, I'm going to go tonight. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to, and there's a reason. It's like these synchronicity moments that are happening around you that are pulling you. And it's, so it's a time to start stepping back out again, kind of get your happy feet on, get your happy feet going, get out and dance, get out and move. And you, uh, you do seem to be affected by like the darkness and wintry kind of blah and blues. And this seems to be the time when you are. Some feel like they're in a, some of my Virgos feel like they've been sitting in a lower vibration. And I'm not going to say, depressed or that i just feel like a lower vibration like the darkness uh you, you don't always grasp that the darkness can be to your benefit so you're not you're not taking full advantage of the darkness and doing like some writing or uh some just some downtime it's like you're using it to just kind of watch tv and getting caught up in watching tv or something and not being useful with your time and you need to be useful i don't know why you need to make and you don't need you are useful but you need to make good use of your time your time is everything to you um and it's also a really good time to to go back into and this is where the social aspect like i feel like there's a tribe there that you used to hang out with whether you were in some sporting events or or you had like if you went to darts bingo i don't know what it is but something like that and it's like kind of get back to your tribe Bring yourself back into your people. That's what you need right now. You need to come back in. But there's some people in there that you're like, eh, I don't freaking don't know if I really like those people. I am, they kind of get on my nerves. But um, it's going to be different this time. Because it's not that they were getting on your nerves. It's that you were getting on your own nerves. You kind of tend to do that sometimes. You get on your own nerves. You get a little bit cranky, a little bit miserable. And you just don't want to even be around people. Well, that's that energy. And part of that is to do with something that's been, um, I feel as if you kind of pissed somebody off or somebody pissed you off or something. So you got this mending that has to happen, some mending some relationships. And so whether this was on a, um, on a board or a committee or something you were on and it was people you're working with and you just, they're like getting on my nerves or you're getting on their nerves and you're just, you're being a little bit, you were being a little bit argumentative or they were being a little bit argumentative, something like that. And it's just like, it's time to mend that because it really wasn't worth it. And it really wasn't that big of a deal. So let that go, let go of that and get back out and do what you do and do what you do very well. And that's socialize. You tend to, you make a really good politician. <laughs> you can, you can kind of sell ice to a mess Eskimo and, and you can convince that's the same. <laughs> and you can convince and you can convince and you can, and that just came flying out of me. And I don't know where that just came from. And it kind of caught me off guard. I'm like, Oh, what was that? So I feel, this is what I feel. I feel as if somebody is about who's living in another location, whether it's Southern, Eastern, Western, is about to make a move to a Northern community or a Northern area. And you have to convince somebody to hire you and you're unsure if you're qualified and you need to convince somebody that you are good enough for this job and you're like, shit, I wasn't planning on going back this way. I wasn't planning on going that direction but you're coming back, you're going back again, type of thing. You've been north before and you're about to go north. And this could be in the medicine wheel. It could be that your wisdom, like you've, you've let things go, you've released the past, you're, you're now in that northern energy. It could also be that. That just kind of, when I said that, it's something went, oh, like a light bulb moment just hit me. I just got that message and it's for somebody in particular. Whoever you are, just know that you have to convince people that, what you have, they might already have, but you can give it to them better or they, or you need it better or you can build it better, whatever it may be, is that you have the ability to do this. And so follow that. It's like your, your wisdom, you've, you've gained all the knowledge. You might've been here before, you might've done that before, but it's different this time. So that, and it might even be going into a relationship again, something of the past coming up or go, returning to the North something like that. And it's for somebody in particular. It's about to happen. And uh, you never thought it was going to happen. We never thought you'd be going this direction again. Uh, surprise, it's about to happen. I don't know why, but it's going to happen and it's going to be good. So just go with it, trust it, let it, let, let that happen. But it's all about socializing. It's all about getting out there. I don't know uh, if it's really romantic. It might be, who knows, but you know, observe the stars, look up at the sky, look north, look, notice. So what it's telling you is notice 
notice everything in your surroundings. It's, you don't just be looking down because you've been looking down at your feet and this sort of happy feet, seeing your feet move. I could see your feet moving. And you pay attention to kind of that ground of you. Like I need to be grounded. I have to be here to make sensible decisions. This is like you're observing something that's like a little bit out of character for you, but you're about to do something that's a little bit out of, and you're just like, screw it. I'm going to go do it. And that's what it feels like. Is I'm taking this on. I'm going to go do this. And it's, and it's going to work. Trust me. It's going to go work. It's in your, it's, it's in the right direction for you. It's about to take place. And this is the Doreen Virtue. Mother Mary cards transformation. Um, I've had a lot of transformations that happen, but this is not all these cards are about, but that's what I'm feeling. So this is about to take you in some new direction. Whoever you are, it might be one or two of you. It might be the whole collective of you. I don't know, but it's a special message. Stay devoted to who you are. You know who you are, and somebody's going to judge you for this decision. Somebody's going to say, uh, you are so dumb. Why would you do that? Blah, 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 blah. Or they're like, that's typical of you. You run away from everything. You take off from everything. Uh-uh. That's not what this is about. This is the completion of something that your heart has been desiring that you need to do. Don't, don't scare away from it. Don't go away from it. And it might be to complete something. It might be to prove to yourself that you can still do this. Like, um, it just feels like something that just resonates, makes sense. And then for some other people, I feel that the planets are kind of pushing you away from some of the people that are in your life. It's like you've recognized that they're not for you anymore. Like that, that those people don't suit you. You don't belong there. And you've been trying to make yourself fit because you just, you're just that kind of person. You just want to belong. Or you just, or you just, oh, you just love to socialize so much that you just want to keep going back to that. And it's like, no, I'm done now. I've played that sport too long. I'm over that now. Um, I'm ready to move on. Or, or I, you know, I don't want to hang out with that groupie anymore. And it's not that you don't like them, nothing to do with that. You're just, you're just done. You're just ready to move on to something new. And um, I feel as if, see, see, here's that past life. Here's that past life relationship. There's something that you're returning to. So whether it's a job you want to do again or a love, like you're, you're going after it. And it's, it's good. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's going to happen. It's just like, yay, let it happen. Cause you, you need go ahead and make the romantic gesture, express your love. It's a, it's the perfect time. Uh, your heart's been calling for you to do this and you don't know why, but you're like, I need to. And I don't know why this sounds like it's absolutely crazy because calling in your soulmate, you're calling your soulmate. This is your soulmate. Um, so this is, this is definitely love calling your soulmate and you're moving and you're but you need the job to do this like everything has to fall into place it's kind of kind of for you and but this is job related this is romance related this is a bit of everything but all the rest is like the social aspects of your life and um so for the general this is a social aspect and then for others there's a few that are doing something that's crazy going back to a place, going back and finding that person they love, whatever it may be. But it's like, you're done just looking down at your feet. You're done just settling. You're making that choice. You're making that move to go beyond. It's going to work. It's good. Let it happen. Um, formation, formation, formation. So somebody else in here is about to do some sort of uh, forming a new group, like a healing circle, and it's in our Virgos, is somebody, you know, or you're being invited in, somebody in the, you know, you're being invited into some sort of healing circle, or to take some sort of classes, start the spiritual journey, this is a perfect time, uh, this is your opportunity to find yourself, uh, not self, it's time to kind of awaken, I keep seeing like the lotus flower type of thing, kind of rising from your murky low points, and rising up and out of there, and it's the ancient ones. And the ancient ones are, you know, our ancestors, our, the healers, the medicine women, men of the past, and just being called in. You're being kind of called in, like, come to us. You're, you've, you've, you've experienced enough pain and suffering. You're ready. You've been through the low points. You've been in lower vibration. Rising above. Get that book written. Get those things done that you need it to do. It's time. It's time to get moving. So spiral. You've been spiraling. And here's as if, you know, you don't need to go back into the rabbit hole. You need to rise out. And you're, you're about to reach in and reach for your diamonds. Like you were, you knew, you knew there was something coming for you and you just wanted it. And then it's like, you're going to kind of have to go through all of this. And then by, by the time, you know, like this, this crops are starting to kind of rise up. So by fall, by fall, you're going to be well settled into whatever it is you're doing. And by fall, you're going to be like 
yay, this was such a good time. Like I've had such a so much fun. I've had such a good summer, spring, summer, like everything has kind of been da da da. But um, in the meantime, you didn't even recognize how much you have changed your life, how much you have grown, how much you have awakened, how much beautiful things that have happened around you. Um, I feel like you just need to enjoy it. I feel like you need to take it on. Don't worry about what people are going to judge you. This is your time. And the other card that came out was Beauty Way. And here's my flower, blossoming flower, opening up. You don't have to please everyone else anymore. Please you. And so this is your beautiful self, awakening, opening, and becoming whatever you need to be. Follow your heart. Follow your passion. Follow your, that drive. It's like, just let yourself go. But some of you are going north. So you're moving from whatever direction you've been in or you're north in the medicine wheel and you're in that place of wisdom, whatever it may be. It's happening and it all seems to be happening kind of quickly. It's like, I just see a big turn. Like you were just on this path and you were doing well. Life is okay. You know what? I was doing what everyone else wanted me to do. And then boom, there it was. Got another direction. But it's okay. You're safe. Keep going. Don't worry about it. And don't worry about what other people have to say. You're going to be just fine. And hope is our validation card. Have hope that life is going to give you what you want and continue to kind of give and receive. But you've been very much giving and receiving to a lot of people. It's time for you to give to you. You are first. Now, um, your, or your emotional needs and, and your desires and your jobs, all those things have to kind of come first. Be strong. Don't don't back down. Don't don't let don't let it weaken you or don't let someone talk you out of what you want to do. Follow it. Don't don't say, oh, you know what? Maybe I should not. And there's been all kinds of signs. You've been getting all kinds of signs. Either someone's name keep popping up or or this job opportunity keep popping up or the you keep seeing something on you know social media or you keep seeing like just I don't know where this is all coming from, but it just feels like you've been having all these signs, whether you've been finding, you know, like old business cards or something, but it's just like, damn it. I, I love that life. I'm, I, I need this life and I'm going to, I'm going to go after it. Don't be afraid. It's waiting for you. It's faded. It's your life. You can do what you want. You are here to live it and you're not here to live in your shadows anymore. You're here to live it as your true self. Go out, have fun, uh, enjoy it and just know that you'll be reaping the rewards of all of this. And by fall, you're going to look back and go, so glad I made this decision. So glad I did these things for me. Thank you so much and have a wonderful January and enjoy it all. And uh, many blessings to each and every one of you. Thank you very much.